Hey, what's going on guys, Brian, welcome to another video today. I'm going to give a bit of a cut con because I want to tell you how to deal with hate. So hate's kind of a weird thing, like, whatever you do, you'll get hate for it, guaranteed. And I just want to tell you how to, like, deal with it because it's not a nice thing to have to go through and, you know, I can talk from experience right now. And, like, I get hate especially for my YouTube channel, so, of course, it's going to affect me a little bit. So I think I hate the most is when people just literally just assume stuff. I don't actually think it's fair because they just assume you're a nerd and it really gets my nerves because like, I'm not a nerd, I, I, I hope I'm not. But if you say I am, I guess I am. And to be honest, it doesn't really bother me that much. So when people just assume that you have no life or so on and so forth, just because you play, you do YouTube just for fun, it really annoys me because, I mean, come on guys, just because I do YouTube or... I don't even have that many subscribers, it's not like it's my job, and that's not even still new to me, you're doing this thing you like for a job, and it's just wrong with that, right, you know. Like I said, like, anything you do, will, you'll get hate for it, like I said, you, you could be the best rugby player or football player you could ever be, yet still get so much hate for it. So I make, you know, YouTube videos, quite often, and people just... God damn. And people like to pass on the opportunity just to take the mick out of me. I mean, yeah, it's not normal just to make YouTube videos, but I mean, come on guys, cut me a little bit of slack. But the thing is, it's like, my friends are fine with it. My friends are actually supportive, they'll help me make videos, exact, exactly, etc, etc. My family's supportive of it, like, they don't really care as long as I get good grades or whatever. And as long as I listen to good at school, I don't think it'd be much big of a deal, is it? Let's be honest. I'm gonna chase this guy down. Yep, well thought. Bye. But like I was saying, it's it's kind of annoying because um it's not my friends and or my family, it's just people who I kind of know but not too well in school and they're the ones that take the most digs at me. And I, I don't really understand why, like, I'd just be walking through the corridor and the next thing you know, I know you burned it. Or people ask me for my YouTube and it's just, it's just sort of annoying because you know what it is, it's just they want to take the mech and it, 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 it's, it is kind of frustrating, like, I, I gotta admit that guy got turned on. So that's kind of the damage, it's when you're walking through the corridors in school and you just get all these little digs at you, like, it's nothing even too mean, it's just sort of like, a, like, annoying. Just because it's, it's kind of like something you like me, it's kind of putting it down but without sort of saying it, if you, if you, if you understand what I'm trying to say. Another annoying thing is when you're in YouTube comments and people are constantly taking dicks, it's really frustrating. They're like giving you bad feedback and they're just constantly, you know, taking the mech out of what you're doing. Like it could be anything. I mean, we all know what hate comments look like, and I'm sure if you do YouTube, you've had some yourself. But you're just gonna bite about it. I mean, let's, let's be honest, they're the ones that have to hide you in the screen to say anything. So just think positively, guys. That's, that's my message. Think positively. But also, don't confuse that hate with uh, criticism, like constructive criticism, because they could, they could actually, actually help you. So take on some things on board. But if it's actual hate and they're being mean, calling you names, then that, that to me is not criticism. That is, that is being mean, and I don't like it. It's just not nice. Because I guess when you're younger, you're more vulnerable to it as well. I mean, I'm only 15, yet sometimes, like, it, it can affect you. And then you get people like 17, 20 commenting on videos that you suck, whatever. It's, it's kind of a downer. And like, people saying that I suck Call of Duty. Yeah, I know I do, right? I'm, that's no secret, it's just I enjoy doing it. And I don't see why that's, see, that's why I suck. But I don't really see why that's such a problem, to be honest, because if I'm doing it just to make Call of Duty videos, and I'm doing it for fun, and I'm trying to make it entertaining, as entertaining as I can. Oh my god. I suck. Yep, I, I told you, didn't I, guys? I told you. But leave hate comments if you want, because I'm just going to be able to deal with them. And this is how you're going to deal with them. Dealing with the people in the corridors, just taking cheap little things at you, just just ignore them. They're the ones who have to be childish, especially if they're older than you. Just rise above it. I mean, 
if they just take a dig to your YouTube, just say, yeah, I'm probably being more successful than you'll ever be. You know, if you want to take a dig back, then that's fine. Or just totally ignore them. That's is the best way of getting past them. Just totally blank them out, just walk straight past them, show no emotion. That's what I do, and it's starting to ease off now. Like, it's been going on past you in year 10 when apparently, and over the summer, a lot of people watch my videos because I've had it a lot while they're getting camping. But I mean, hell, if they want to take the time to watch my YouTube channel, at least acknowledge it, that's brilliant. I mean, I mean, I'm not, I'm not arguing with that. But I mean, for them to just acknowledge your YouTube channel and I mean, acknowledge it, watch it, and then just to give you hate for it. I mean, you must be doing something, right? I mean, if, they, if they're going to continually watch your videos, I mean, you're obviously doing something, at least something small, right? So keep bringing them back. I mean, that's being an absolute idiot because that, that's, that's fine too. But you just got to think positively. You just got to think positively, guys. Oh my god, I just realised I sound a bit like Shia LaBeouf, you know, with his motivational stories. Oh my Do it! Just do it! Oh my god. <laughs> yes, yeah, so you all know what I mean when I say that. Yeah, and to deal with the hate comments, I mean, that's just easy. Just. Either you just. You could delete comments, guys, in case you didn't know. So either just delete them and just ignore them. I mean, you can break it down, make people feel sorry for you, or you can use it. You can use it, boom yourself, and use it as motivation. Like, if they're being hateful, I mean, next time use it to be better than before, I mean, it's, it's easy. So for example, say if someone just say, oh dude, you effing suck, or, or whatever like that, instead of just mourning over it and being, being all sorry for yourself, why don't you use that as, like, motivation? Like, get up and get up and make another video, make three videos that day, and put them up, schedule them, get better, work, work your heart off just to get better, instead of just sitting there doing nothing. Like, if you generally suck, but they have to put it in a new way, why are you sitting there doing nothing about it? Like, don't feel sorry for yourself. Get up and do something. I mean, it's the only way you're actually going to get that, isn't it? So guys, that's basically all I'm going to have to say to you today about how to deal with hate because, to be honest, it's not such a big deal in the end. And this is something a bit of an uplifter. If you've just been told to, you know, you suck or whatever, Feel great about yourself because I've been told to hang myself with some rope and then drink some bleach. So look at the bright side guys, thank you very much for watching and Bandit will be back. Peace.